Hello and welcome to another Nova's First Reacts, the show where I react first to all the things you want to see reacted to first if I'm the first person you see react to things. We've got six samurai support, Rage of the Abyss is making us see pretty good tonight. Uh, this is one of my favorite decks, probably in the top ten. It's kind of like Black Wings, but with cool armor. Uh, they can do a whole bunch of different things, from Link Summoning to Xyz to Synchros. They even tried a little fusion, though that wasn't their proudest moment. Um, I was under the impression that this story was over, but... In the capitalist world that we live in, in this continuing card game environment, there's always room for more story if it sells more cards. And sadly, I am but a hopeless vassal to this infinite cycle of cardboard creation. Uh, especially if it has more six samurais on there. I'm curious to see what these are doing for us. We are starting with Heretic Monk of the Six Samurai. Level 3, dark, 500 attack, 0 defense, Warrior Tuner Monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. If you control a Six Samurai monster, accept a copy of this card. You can special summon this card. You can only special summon monsters with this name once per turn this way. Seems a little redundant. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a Six Samurai Quick Play spell from your deck to your hand. And a Six Samurai monster that was synchro summoned using this card as material gains the following effect. Reduce the level of all monsters your opponent controls by one. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? We'll get into the six samurai quick play spells we can use in just a bit, but it is another level three tuner. What am I saying? Another. It's another monster that you can special summon for free, and it's a level three tuner, which is pretty nifty. Uh, the fact that it has 500 attack, I believe, lines up with a lot of our six samurais in regards to using aestheticism. So I'm not too upset about this. It's good either in your hand or in your deck. Instructor of the Six Samurai. Why are, why are the Six Samurais just these little old dudes? They're just tiny men. They're just innocent men. Okay, level two. Earth Warrior Tuner. Also a tuner. Uh, you can only use each effect of this, uh, each two and three effect of this card once per turn. If you control a Six Samurai monster, except Instructor of the Six Samurai, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Instructor of the Six Samurai once per turn this way. That might be what they're doing, what they meant to do with this first one here, because this says one and two up here, but then the number one has a once per turn thing. Maybe both of these are hard once per turns. Anyway, so we get to summon it for free if we control a Six Samurai. Uh, you know, and then in grass is green, you know. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a Six Samurai card from your deck or graveyard to... Oh, okay. And a six samurai monster that was synchro summoned using this card as material gains the following effect. Monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack. Now that makes more sense. Making them lose 500 attack is just what you... It, it helps with combat. What is this whole uh, reduced level nonsense? Okay, Legendary Demonic Six Samurai Shien, level 6 Warrior Synchro, Dark, 2500 Attack, 1900 Defense, requires a Warrior Tuner and one or more non-tuner Six Samurai Monsters as material. You can only use the one effect of this card once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can add a Six Samurai Monster or Shien Effect Monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect as a quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. And if this card on the field would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can destroy one other monster you control instead. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Legendary, Six Samurai, Shien. They're a level 5, right? This one's level 6. And this is five. Okay, I was remembering correctly. So this is the monster counterpart to Legendary Six Samurai Shien. Uh, it brings the whole demonic energy to the forefront. One of the underlying themes is that Shien got their power by making a deal with a horrifying devil from the Netherworld, which uh, helps the parallels with him and Oda Nobunaga. Uh, this one gets you a free Six Samurai or Shien monster. That's a huge pool of cards you can grab. Uh, especially since we just added two tuners that you can special summon if you control a six samurai. So you can make this, summon the two or three, make a level eight or nine synchro with no restrictions applied. Um, not bad, though I would honestly feel like you'd want to keep it around. I mean, 
it's it's a free monster negate every turn like that's it's everything we could ever want from a card oh my god we're wait it looks like Xien is not the only one getting the evil synchro treatment level six light warrior synchro 1700 attack 1200 defense legendary demonic six samurai Enishi. uh generic materials one tuner one or more non-tuners you can only use the first and third effect of this card once per turn if this card is synchro summoned you can banish any number of six samurai monsters in your grave then target the same number of monsters your opponent controls and return them to the hand mm -hmm. During the battle phase, only warrior monsters you control gain 500 attack and a defense, making this thing a bit better stat-wise. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one of your banished six samurai. Hey, that's pretty nifty. We banish something, bounce it, and then this goes to the graveyard. Uh, or perhaps, say, use it as synchro material for something? Uh, and then lastly, so far, we have six samurai rapid duel assault. A quick play spell card that we can search out. Uh, apply one of the following effects. If you control two or more six samurai monsters, you can apply both effects in sequence. Special summon a six samurai monster with 2,000 or less attack from your hand or graveyard. Change a monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or less attack to face down defense position. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target a six samurai monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use one of the one and two effects of this card once per turn, so we cannot do both of these in the same turn. Uh, okay, can we get a closer look at what's going on here? Because this looks like... This is uh, Shinai and Mizuho. Okay, yeah, I thought that maybe we'd be introducing or using some of the newer cards, but no, this is the, the duo. The married duo of the six samurai kicking ass together like they always should have been uh okay really quickly let's check six samurai and quick play spells i remember that there's at least two of them uh and i am actually wrong i said aestheticism several times and forgot that that is in fact a quick play spell card with six samurai in the name so which one searched that out? Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard. If this one is sent to the graveyard. Okay, so Heretic Monk searches out Aestheticism. If sent from the field to the graveyard. Pretty sick. Uh, it also gets us Cunning of the Six Samurai. Send a, you know, we can just put this up here. We can all we can all look at these together as a family. Okay, so like I said, uh, Aestheticism of the Six Samurai. Target a Six Samurai you control. Special summon a Six Samurai from your deck with the same attack but a different name. And if you do destroy it during the end phase, that last part never matters because you're just going to be using it for something cool. Uh, you'll need... It's, it's one of the things you have to learn about the deck is at what points monsters on your field have the same attack as monsters in your deck with all of the attack boosting effects. Uh, Cunning sends a face-up Six Samurai monster you control to the graveyard, then targets a Six Samurai monster in either graveyard and special summons that target. I don't know why they let that be part of it, but, you know, if you're in the mirror match, that's very funny to have. Secret Skills of the Six Samurai sends a monster you control to the graveyard, then targets one of your banished Six Samurai to special summon it. Uh, this lets you use monsters that are not Six Samurais to help summon those, and the Secret Six Samurai have effects that can banish themselves from the graveyard to protect your six samurai so you use those to keep you safe and then you can trade out a card to get those back which i think is pretty nifty and has never been super useful but if you can search it out mm. uh and lastly is six worlds of the samurai wait this isn't a six samurai card at all it just says six and samurai never mind this one doesn't work here tribute two phase up six samurai monsters Special summon a great Shogun Shigen from your deck. That's Bubkiss. No one cares about that. Uh, so these three, plus the Dual Assault we just talked about. Uh, oh, wow. I was right. Rapid Dual Assault. That was, that was pretty close. Uh, those are some pretty nifty cards to have. Uh, Rapid Dual Assault, at the very least, is a free summon from hand. Uh, though you can always just flip your opponent's monster face down if they're small enough anyway. So that's pretty good. Uh, what's the 2,000 limit, though? Am I missing something? Let me know the lore reason down below why they care about the number 2,000. Okay, so there's nothing saying that this is all of the six samurai cards, so there could be more of them. But what do they do for the deck now? I 
I'd have to go back and double check to see if these, these two I feel are the real crux of the situation. Both of these are tuners, so you don't get them out at the same time, but they do fit with our level two and level three non-tuners, which if I remember correctly, was always kind of the big issue was that you just didn't have the right combination of them at any given time. Um, unless, like, randomly. If you played the combo lines, of course you had the right material, but sometimes you would get stuck with them. If you didn't have the right combo, they didn't just naturally mesh together. This might help with those. I have no clue what the level reduction is supposed to be here for. That is so wild. Um, but they're more free special summons, which also means that War Battle Warlord, I think it is, the Link Monster, is that much more accessible to make. Um, adding the Quick Play spell, adding... Oh, this adds a six samurai card. Wait a sec. So this only adds a six samurai quick play spell from deck. But this adds any six samurai card from deck or grave. What the? Okay, that, I am certain there's going to be some kind of update to this effect text because that feels like a weird overlap that they wouldn't do. But still more free monsters. Um. The synchros are interesting. Uh, we basically just have another Shien that negates monster effects now, so we can cover one extra thing. Uh, it searches you a card, which is nice, especially, like I said, with our new tuners. Uh, it can throw other monsters in the way of itself. This can destroy any other monster, not just a six samurai. That's a lot better for our splashes. Uh, Legendary Demonic 6, this is the one that I'm most interested about. So it's a mass bounce that takes our graveyard material and converts it to removal. And with all the material we're throwing into the graveyard, that's pretty good. Uh, and then we combine that with the ability to summon one of the banished six samurais when it's sent to the graveyard from anywhere. Um, and you have the capability to do some funky, like, synchro climbing and then recycling nonsense, because as far as I know, there's not a lock on any of these that will keep us from making anything that we want. And good non-tuner synchro material leads to some wacky high-end synchro monsters. A rapid dual assault will probably be a one of that we can now search that gives us some utility. I like that it recycles our six samurai monsters. Pretty, pretty silly. Uh, I dig, I think this is really cool. Uh, will this make this deck meta relevant, though? I have my doubts. The ceiling of the deck with these cards doesn't drastically change unless there's, like, synchro lines that you can access now outside of Six Samurai that these allow you to uh, get a hold of. Uh, we're, not er we're not adding any new ways to generate Bushido counters, though I guess the old ways that we had were pretty good. Uh, though I still, I still posit that, you know... A deck that has a pot of greed, as long as you already have the setup. Uh, a deck that has a emergency teleport, as long as you already kind of have a setup. A deck, I would even argue, that has a field spell that continuously debuffs your opponent's monsters the more you summon. And that can take all these Bushido counters and convert them into wild advantage. Especially with Gateway of the Six being legal. Even at one, Battle Warlord just means you can have it if you once again have the material these help give you more hands where stuff like that is possible especially with like you have to discard off of battle warlord so it was a huge like tank in card economy if you use heretic monk or instructor of the six samurai or heaven forbid both you can actually make up for that fairly easily so um i'm in one of those Hopefully optimistic, but I'm not expecting this to see regional success once it drops. Though, there are a lot of dedicated Six Samurai people out there, so who am I to judge? Uh, not, I mean, you can though. You can let me know down below if you are a dedicated Six Samurai savant. Go ahead and let me know your knowledge down below. Share with me your ancient teachings. I'm curious to see what kind of new possibilities are open for one of my favorite little decks out there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I guess stick around to the end of the video, because I do have a Six Samurai Explained. You can, I mean, it'll be horribly outdated by the time these come out, but for now, you can get up to date with what's available. Maybe you'll learn a little lore snippet that I have missed out on. I can't wait for these to be in full res. These two have got to have some kind of, like, like, like trinket on them or something that 
at like adds them to the backstory somewhere because I can't tell these aren't like ancestors or descendants of any of them. I don't see anything in Shien or in Nishi's armor right now that like places them anywhere. I, I'm I'm flo I mean obviously these are the legendary, not legendary six samurai, the legendary demonic six samurai. But that well that means that they're not part of that technical subsection of six samurai. The whole demonic being sandwiched in there does imply that it is part of the early era. So uh, okay, no, I, I said I was going to be done. I'm finished. I'm going on this lore rabbit hole. We'll get this all sorted out later once these all come out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye Today's episode is brought to you by my lovely patrons, as well as the lovely people over at Dragon Shield. Get the sleeves as strong as dragon scales and save 5% on your order by using the coupon code GOLDENNOVA at checkout. Today's episode is also brought to you by my lovely patrons, including this month's illustrious Quasar Commanders, Simic Toadstool and Upstairs Media, Nebula Navigator's Third Dynasty, Ada Basilisk, Adam Zajdel, Owexa Toei Hume, Anansi Dragon, Andrew Newman, Kane Senpai, Chibi Gohan, Christopher Fuss, Clockswork, Comrade Copperbottom, Emony Chan, Eric, Frankie, Garland Chaos, Green Knight, Gloomba331, Great Big Pillock, Groog, Hairbear, Harry the Ominous Benefactor, Howling Zangetsu, Iron Zero, Iskander711, Carp, Mana Charge, Marion James E. Piccata, Mega Combi, Millennia Asta, Nathan Vig, Natiel Lee Alexander, Orozco09096, Panther J, Rebel King Lucifer, Red Eyes Jackalow, RJ the Jank Monarch, Sammy Haim, Scott48, Serenity Towns, Skybuster Leo, The Critic of Innocence, Thievery Coast and the Wizard Moose, Cosmic Crusaders, A Random Pup, Ariel Kersey, Baron Von Titty Sprinkles, Beelcifer, Burnag, Blitzwolf, Borger with a Shotgun, Chaz Ghost, Childish Lamar, Dr. Reaper, R.I.P., Drakenwald, Eki Bullock, Eva Padilla, Hike Boyajian, Herbal D, Ignis the True Draco Slayer, Jester Designs, Kale the Dragon, Kivon Public, Lemon Yu-Gi-Oh, Lobomaru02, Manga Pages, Matt Simmons, McSpoofy, Michael Shimabukuro, Nitromo, Nyx, Obsidian, Shizuka Nijimura, Sophie, apparently, Steven Williamson, Taylor Seymour, Terror Top to 3, The Legendary Raven, The Pokeman 52, Tiger X2476, Vizzer KG, Zaldreka and Zalus, as well as the wonderful Starlight Explorers you see on screen now. If you'd like to help me in my journey to cover all of Yu-Gi-Oh's archetypes, get my videos early, and be a part of these credits, along with other awesome perks, it would mean the world to me if you would check out the link to my Patreon in the description, or consider joining as a YouTube member.